Alright, welcome back everyone to our Minecraft Beta Survival LP. Um, the village is coming along nicely, I think. Uh, the very first thing I want to do in this episode is finish off this tavern. Um, and then we'll have two completed structures, well, three if you count the fountain. Um, and then, there are two little things I want to add into the world once we finish this tavern. Um, and by the way, <laughs> I know I, I spent a lot of time in the last episode trying to fix the asymmetries, and I kind of just ended up adding more, right? There's two on this side, only one over here. Uh, if you go over here, there's two here, one here. I just, you know, I'm not going to worry about it too much. We're just going to have to live with the imperfections. So, yeah, that's the plan for this episode. Finish this thing off, and then I'm going to add two things into the world. Oh, by the way, I just want to say, uh, it was a very good investment in the last episode, adding that skeleton farm, because now that we have all the bones we could ever want, uh, it's easy to get all the wood we could ever want. Because all I have to do is sit right here in the village, plant the trees, grow them instantly, and then chop it down. Uh, and of course, every tree drops, you know, at least one sapling. So I basically have an infinite supply of saplings. And with the skeleton farm, we also have an infinite supply of bones. So we're basically just limited by the resources for making an axe, which, I mean, we have iron out the ass. In fact, I just cooked up a couple more stacks here. So, yeah, we basically have unlimited wood now. So that made, that made built, finishing this tavern off way easier. Uh, this, I, I think this is enough stairs. There's a very good chance it isn't, because I always think I have enough stairs, and I never actually do when I make a roof, but we'll see what happens. Oh, god damn it! I forgot. If you misplace stairs, you don't actually get them back. It just gives you planks. Oh, that makes this so annoying. Anyway, I'm thinking we're going to have this roof here facing this way. Make sure it's aligned. So this one's going to face in. Um, and then we'll have another part of the roof that goes a different direction. And that should look cool. Okay. That's that part done. So I've been thinking about what I said as far as adding modern features here into beta Minecraft goes. Um, and I think I am going to go ahead and do that. As long as I can find a, you know, a practical way to do it. Um, I don't know if there are any tools that make that easy. You know, I can just kind of tick some boxes and add whatever features I want into beta Minecraft. If there is a tool for that, then I'm going to go ahead and use that. If not, I might just have to decompile the game and add the changes myself, which, as long as they're not too difficult, I am willing to do. Um, but that that is kind of a last resort, because who knows how difficult that'll be. Um, but I would at least like to add things like enchanting, brewing, animal breeding. Um, that way we can actually have some activity going on here, you know, in the village. And also other minor stuff, like letting cows drop food and chickens. That way we're not just relying on pigs. Um, you know, being able to hold right-click to fill out our inventory slots. Just, you know, simple little things like that. Okay, so I just want to say I fucking hate doing roofs in this game. This is the most painful. Well, mostly just in this version, because these take so long to mine. And if you misplace them, like I did here... I want to move these forward just by one. Uh, I think it's going to make an important difference. I want to move this part of the roof to the right by one. Uh, so I have to take all of this down. It takes forever to mine. And when I mine it, it doesn't even give me the stairs back. It just gives me a stupid plank. This is pain. This hurts. I hate this. But hopefully you see what I'm going for here with the roof. Of course the sun starts going down right when I'm finishing. Son of a bitch. Ooh, I think I have just enough. I think I have just enough stairs to finish this off. Let's try to finish before the night falls. Uh, there are a bunch of holes in the roof. I need to patch that in with regular planks. I also need to fill this strip in. Oh, let's hope I have enough. Oh god, I don't know. Ooh, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, let's take a look at what we've done. There's a bunch of dirt I need to take down that I use for scaffolding. Um, but this is definitely coming together. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so there's plenty to fill in, obviously. 
Uh, but so far, I think I think we're doing good. I think we're doing good. Just got to patch the roof in, and then we can finish off the interior, and then the tavern is done. Okay, I'm realizing the door is kind of not aligned with the roof, and I'm a little fucking mad now. Uh, we're just gonna have to ignore that, because I am not redoing this roof. Absolutely fucking not. Okay, I guess that's... well, that's not completely it, because we do have some holes in our roof, and usually that shouldn't be the case. Um, so let's go ahead and fix that. Okay, I believe I have fixed all the holes. I'm not too worried about this area. I think I'm just going to close all of this off. We are going to use this whole attic area uh, for the lodging, of course. Um, but I don't think I'm going to worry too much about this. You know, it's looking a little plain on this side. Uh, I do have some birch, so let's see if we can fix that. There we go. Yeah, I figured I would bring it up. Uh, that way there's two wooden blocks above and below the glass. Um, I know I've ruined the symmetry in some places, so let's try to bring it back, maybe. Okay, I feel like this looks quite a bit better. Let's take a look. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that better. I think I'm going to tweak uh, the birch design after this video. I'm not going to worry about that too much. Right now, I just want to work on the interior and call this done so we can move on to the last two things I want to do. No, 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 you get the fuck out of here. No, sir. No, no. Okay, you can stay in there. You want to be in there, you can stay in there. Oh my god, I didn't torch up. See, because I'm, I'm building, I'm dividing the, uh, what the fuck is it called? I'm dividing the lodging from the bottom floor, and I didn't torch it up up there, so, uh, <laughs> that just happened. Die! Okay, so that was, uh, not smart. God, I'm scared to even walk around. That's... You hear it? It's up there. It's up there. Oh, there it is! Oh, shit! Oh, my God. <laughs> it only takes two hits. But... It's so scary. Oh, don't blow up. Don't blow up. Just drop down. Just drop down. Just drop down! Oh, my God, there's two! No! Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. I'm going to cut a hole here to maybe let some light up. Please stop doing that. Oh my god, that is not fun. Oh my god, there's another one. There's another. Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're so dead. Oh my god. Okay, knock it the fuck off for two seconds so I can torch this up. No more. No more. Let's stop the madness. Okay, so I just spawned this tree in because I need wood. Um, and I'll be honest, I kind of like it. It's it's kind of a nice tree. I, I started I started taking it down, and then I put the logs back, because I kind of like the way it looks. It's nice and tall, so it's out of the way. It provides some nice shade. Might want to stick a torch there just to keep mobs from getting any funny ideas. Um, but I kind of like it as a, as a sort of decoration in the village. Okay. So, we have now divided the bottom from the lodging. Uh, so I'm thinking the bar is basically going to be right here. Um, this is where the seating area is going to be. And I think, yeah, I think the stairs up to the lodging can just go right here. Maybe you have to move it over right here. Um, this, this should work. This should look good. Okay, so we're going to have some seats here. Three, yeah, let's put four. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, I'll probably bring this around like that. Maybe add a little trapdoor type thing here. Uh, okay, so as far as the seating goes, uh, what should we do here? You know, I really hate that in this version, um, the stairs don't wrap around. I hate that you don't have corner stairs. And now that I've placed these three down, I'm not going to get them back. So that's awesome. I wonder if these three are too close together. I'm just thinking, you know, <laughs> would I really want to sit here like this, this close? All right, so I might add another little seating area. We can maybe add one, you know, right here. Uh, but, you know, this is a good start. Let's start working on the lodging. All right, there are the stairs. 
Yeah, I think they're fairly out of the way. I could even add another little table here. There we go. Got a creeper taking a bath on the fountain over there. Whoop. Who the fuck do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You're just gonna ruin my whole tavern with arrows? God damn. Where do they spawn, I wonder? Up here, maybe? No? Hmm. Yeah, let's torch this up. Because uh, I'm not the biggest fan of that. Okay, so I don't think we can fit more than like two or three little rooms up here. Um, I'd be surprised if we could actually fit three. Uh, it might just have to be two little rooms, one here and one here. I'm not totally sure. Okay, I've been dicking with this for a while now, and I think this is what I'm going to go with. So I could only really fit three up here. Uh, if they're going to be a decent size, that is, I can only fit three. Uh, this one kind of sucks. I do see that. The size of this room is uh, quite a bit less than these. Um, there's, like, it's just not a whole lot I can do about this. Um, this layout up here kind of fucking sucks. And there's just no getting around that. There's a door, there's a door, and there's a door. Okay, let's extend the walls up. Uh, add some details to these rooms, of course. And I guess we'll go ahead and call this done. You know what, actually? Let me let me bring this wall over. Just by one. I didn't really want to walk in here and, you know, have a wall right next to the door. But... I think it's for the greater good. Let's, let's give this guy at least a little bit more space. There we go. Alright, let's finish this. So, I think... Let's see... I'll just stick the bed here and the chest here. Okay, that's not the direction I wanted to face, but whatever. Um, I feel like... Hold on. I kind of feel like they should have windows, but I don't know if that really works with what we have. So, maybe I'll just stick a painting here and... Yeah, we'll call this one done. Where should this guy's painting go? How about here? Okay, that's kind of big. Maybe not that one. Yeah, he can have the big cool one. Since he's crammed over here in the corner, I think he deserves it. And then this guy. Cool. His painting will go here? No, you can have a bigger one than that. Yeah, he gets the uh, creepy spider painting. Yeah, I think, I think this is done. So we now have lodging and a place for people to eat. I could stick a chest back here and, you know, make it look more like a bar. Um... But, you know, this is a start, and there's two other things I want to get done in this episode anyway. And this has already consumed a lot of time. So, yeah, I think we can go ahead and call the tavern done. Anyway, let's go ahead and do the next thing I wanted to do in this episode. Um, so I was recently made aware uh, that there was this very old kind of design for the villages in Minecraft. Um, it's only like three. I don't think it actually made it into an official version. Um, there are just like three screenshots floating around that Notch posted uh, of this very old village design. Uh, it's just an abandoned village. There weren't any villagers at that time. And it was kind of eerie looking. And I have to say, I, I like the way it looked. And I want to add it into the game. We're, we're going to bring it back because it's pretty cool looking actually. And we have all the resources we need. Uh, they use moss stone, cobble. They're very basic designs, but... I still think they're kind of cool. So, I want to look for a nice little place to put that village. Uh, I don't know if this is the best place right here. Um, I kind of want it out of the way. It's just supposed to be like a random little abandoned village. Not exactly sure what the best place to put that is, but... I'm thinking somewhere over here. So, they're usually about six wide. One, two, three, four, five six and i think they go back by about nine one two three four five six seven eight nine i think that's about right i think we'll put glass here and then the door will go right here i'm not sure what the inside looks like but i'm just going to go ahead and give them a wooden floor because uh it seems kind of standard 
All right, there we go. Of course, it is now nighttime, so I have to worry about mobs. Probably should have brought a bed with me just so I could stay over here. Okay, so that's a start. I think this is correct. I don't know. It doesn't exactly look right. I could have swore. It looks to me like my eyes are just playing tricks on me. It looks like in the screenshot, this part hangs down over here. But as I look at it, that just, that doesn't make any sense with the geometry. I just, I don't get it. Because this is definitely six wide. But this is the way the roof is supposed to look. So it can't hang down here. But I swear to God, it looks like it is in the thumbnail. It just, it doesn't make any sense. Actually, you know what? This is correct. It just, the perspective in the image, it looks so weird. This is right. So let's go ahead and add the mossy cobblestone. We can finally put the stuff to use. Okay, that looks about right. Um, I might take one out. I don't know if I want the entire bottom to be mossy stone, but yeah, that looks about right. Okay, so this took a little bit more mossy cobble than I expected, so I might only be able to build like two, maybe three of these. I might have to take some moss away from this one to do that. But yeah, this is basically what the original villages were going to look like in the game. Just these abandoned, you know, pretty basic little structures. I think I'm going to place torches so that it's kind of visible. I sort of don't want to because these are supposed to be abandoned. So, you know, who's lighting these torches exactly? Um, but I, I do kind of want it to be visible. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. He tried. Fuck no. Okay, that is the last of the moss stone. So, I was only able to build two houses. I'll go ahead and torch this one up, I guess. Um, yeah, I think, I think they look okay. I mean, the screenshots I have are not great. That's all I have to work with, so I think I did them right. But, yeah, I think this looks cool. Let's take these extra torches out, and I want to see how this looks at night from over there. There we go. Um, I am taking the long way, aren't I? I will add more. I'll probably add like two or three more uh, once I get enough moss stone. But it does take about a stack of moss stone just to do two. So we'll get to that when we get to it. All right, let's see what it looks like to approach the village. I like it. I like it. I like the way this looks so far. I think this looks very nice. Okay, now that that's done, let's move on to the next thing. So, this next project is going to be a little bit of a reference. Well, not a little bit of a reference. It is a reference. I'm not going to say what it is. Uh, you'll either get it or you won't. Um, but if you do, I think you'll appreciate it. So, I think this calls for a time lapse. And given what I'm about to build, I think I know what song I'm going to play.
Okay. My god, this boat was a massive pain. Massive pain, but here it is. Here is the finished boat right outside our gates. Um, so, <laughs> again, if you get the reference, awesome. Uh, if not, you'll just have to be left wondering. As far as you know, this is just a boat I added for no reason. Or for decoration or whatever. Um, so I did, I did model this off of something. Um, I don't have very good images to work with, so I did my best. Um, I'm not exactly sure how the sail was supposed to work. I feel like it's supposed to connect to these things, but from the image, it was just not clear how that was supposed to work. So I just said, screw it. Uh, so I recreated this to my to the best of my ability. Uh, there's nothing down here. So this is it. I should have bookshelves here, actually. Um, but that's going to take way too long to make. I'll do that later. So, this is another addition to the world. We have a boat. I'm glad we're finally starting to fill the world out. You know, outside the village. I felt like we should build, you know, one or two things outside the village just to have something else going on. I don't want 100% of the action to be here within the village, but... The village itself is also coming along nicely. Feels good to just walk in and have these cool trees here, nice buildings. Well, except for that detail, but I'll get to that later. So, that's all I had planned for this episode. We added some cool new stuff into the world. World really, it's really coming into its own. I'm liking the way this is going. So, I hope you guys have been enjoying the progress as well. As always, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, and I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. I hope to see you in the next one. Goodbye.